Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We just got back in town in Nashville about like 30 minutes ago. Unloaded all of our stuff. Said hello to the chunky monkey bear. Oh, you're the best, you miss us. She was freaking out when we walked through the door. She was not expecting it because if you guys missed my last vlog, basically we got back from Miami, flew into Nashville, picked up our suitcases, went to 30A for our anniversary trip. And we were only home between the two trips for like 30 minutes. And Riley was so confused when we came home and grabbed our other suitcase and then left again. But we're back and we're back for a very long time. Oh, I missed her so much. She's like finally calmed down. She was freaking out when we first got home. She was spazzing. Yeah, you were. But we have already checked our water features. Jaywaz is actually outside right now working on the pool because he found a couple of frogs in our skimmer basket. And we have somebody come and work on the pool do like the chemicals and stuff once a week but typically when we're home jay was will just make sure that it's clean every day he'll like do the vacuum and everything and spring has begun kind of we got a little bit of a tease of spring here in nashville and around springtime frogs will come and lay their eggs in either the skimmer basket in the pool area which we were told by the previous owner or they'll lay their eggs in the koi pond so I checked the koi pond though. Koi pond looks great. All my koi are alive. They're just hibernating under the rock today. While we were out of town, I think it got up to like 78 degrees, 80 degrees. And then there was like a big cold front that went through again. So we got back today and it's 48 degrees. So the koi are chilling under their rocks. Jay Waz is absolutely getting stuff done outside. He is such a champ. He's just out there making sure that all of the Tadpole eggs are getting cleaned up. I think he got maybe the frogs out of the skimmer basket. It was definitely freaky. It's our first spring here. We've never, you know, experienced a spring with a pool or a pond. And we're getting used to the pool and pond owner life. But I want to show you guys some blooms back here. Go! <sighs> Y'all, this is the puzzle that we started at Christmas and we moved it out here when we had our place painted early January and we have not touched it since. I don't know if we'll ever finish this. Also, we've got our sunroom looking a little bit of a mess. I want to move my plants back in here once it gets a little bit warmer, but for now, the sunroom's kind of sad. We've got our extra chairs. These are our old dining chairs that we need to get rid of. Oh, you're showing off. You're splooting. You got him? Let me see. It's huge. Big, big. I thought it, you meant like a tiny frog. No, no, I'm talking oh, big pregnant ones. Oh my, <laughs> big pregnant, literally so many eggs. Clearly, we like frogs. We love frogs. Riley, you love sticks? You love your sticks? She's been on this big stick grind. She won't do it now, but sometimes she'll just like pick up a stick and carry it around. I don't know where she started to get into that habit, but I wanted to show you guys some blooms that we noticed that came up while we were gone. I've got those and then some pink ones. And I feel like we really missed the prime of these ones because it got cold again, but it's beautiful purple. Look, she's doing it. Riley, <laughs> you love sticks. <laughs> the backyard is starting to really come alive. So I hope spring comes back and stays because I would love to see all this blooming. I need to actually trim back these rose bushes. I meant to do that before we left. I only got halfway through the backyard, but I need to trim these the pool looks pretty good it's definitely like needs to be vacuumed but the pool guy comes tomorrow and hopefully he will know what to do about that the previous owner said that that's actually really common so just keep an eye out for it i think it just happened because the warmer temps and just because we we haven't been here for like 12 days but jay was is doing his duty of the pool ownership you're doing so good you love your red basketball goal. Dude, he's so pumped to shoot hoops in this with all his friends in the spring and summer. We've got Gus going in the pool. But anyway, we had the pond cleaned right before we left. You guys might have seen that vlog. All the koi are very, very happy under their rocks. The pond looks amazing. Did you keep guard of the koi? Make sure none of them got taken by raccoons or birds. And then while we were gone too, we had the daffodil pop up. So I'm really interested to see what springs up because 
the previous owner said that the most random things will just start blooming at different times throughout the year. Riley, you are not supposed to bring your toys outside. <laughs> She's never done that before. She's never brought a toy out here. You, that goes inside, inside. <laughs> Crazy dog. I have got a bunch of stuff to unpack. We got lots and lots of boxes while we were gone. It feels so good to be here. I love our home. And we got more over here. So we've got a lot to open up. We've got a lot to unpack. One of these boxes though is my new computer. So so excited y'all. The computer that I have been working on and editing on is so slow and it overheats all the time and it just has like a bunch of issues, especially just like for editing videos. For normal stuff, it's fine, but for how many videos we edit, photos we edit, stuff like that, thumbnails we're making and all of that, this computer that I have currently is just like not able to like keep up. And so I ordered a new computer. I actually ordered this last year. I ordered it right after Christmas, maybe like the 26th or 27th. And I ordered like a custom spec because there were certain things I wanted, certain things I didn't want and that I didn't want to pay for. So I ordered like a specific custom spec, which means that they have to like make it to order. And so it took forever. <laughs> it's March for it to be made and be shipped. But it literally like arrived like two hours after we had gotten back in town for like 30 minutes. So I was really hoping to like have it for our trip, but we weren't gonna like sit around and wait for it, but it came. And so I think I might unbox that this evening, get that set up. We've got some stuff that I ordered from Amazon that I really wanted to have for spring. And then it looks like we've got some stuff from Tarte and I don't know what else. I'm looking here and it looks like we actually have my mini Polen bag that came, the smaller version of the numero Nuf that I took with me. The mini one came in, so I'm gonna have to film a video about that. But I think before I unbox anything, I'm just gonna start unpacking and just trying to get the place kind of back in order. One of our friends who watched the house is so amazing. She like did, the, she washed the sheets and like cleaned everything. So there's really not that much to like put together. I ordered some Old Navy spring dresses that I'm so excited about. They all came in petite, so I was super pumped for that. But that just arrived and anyway, like I said, I'm gonna try to get the house back in order and then maybe we will open up some of the stuff that came because I'm very excited to see my new computer and who knows, who knows what else is in this pile. All of the plants are still alive. Fiddle's looking good. He might need some water. This one, I feel like grew so much. Don't you think that one got so tall, Jay Oh my gosh, yeah, it did. Yeah, he's climbing. I have to cut this one back all the time. It grows so fast. And then this one definitely needs water. Oh my gosh, he's all, he's all droopy. These ones are doing really, really good. This one lost a leaf. Like it had a dried leaf that fell. So I think it might just need to be watered, but he hasn't lost a leaf in a very, very, very long time. So I'm wondering why, it was kind of random that he lost a leaf. And then this one is looking good. There's like a couple little yellow leaves, but I'm gonna make sure that the soil is dry. I have one of those water meters, but everything else looks amazing. I can't wait to move them into the sunroom again because obviously we've got a lot going on right here. We'll keep the Monstera probably, or maybe we'll keep the rubber tree. I'm not sure which one we'll keep yet in here, but we're gonna keep one in here and then take the rest of the sunroom because it's a lot. And then we've got all these other ones and they're all doing really, really well. So I am so shocked that this thing is not dead. I keep thinking that I'm gonna like leave and then come back and he's gonna be dead, but he's not. So thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I checked the soil and it's still reading that it's moist. So I'm not gonna water this. I'll probably wait like a couple more days, which I think will be 13 days. So not quite two weeks between watering, but I, don't, I definitely don't wanna over water this plant. But I just got this watering can off Amazon and this is what I've been using for my other plants. This is indoor plant food. And I think that's why my plants have been growing so much like in winter. And then I got this fiddle leaf food for my fiddle leaf tree and this is a root supplement to prevent root rot from my fiddle leaf tree so i'll link all this stuff down below and then i've been using this water meter so that i know if it's 
dry or still moist. We definitely have enough of those. So my orchid for my birthday has died and I am wondering if it is worth keeping. Like, will it come back? I wanna ask you guys before I throw it away in case maybe one of you guys know about orchids, but it looks definitely very dead. So I might put it in the sunroom. Maybe it just needs more light. It's my tulips from Valentine's Day, which I should have gotten rid of, honestly before we even left. <laughs> All right, it's time to unpack the two suitcases, which I actually feel like I condensed it better on the way home than I did on the way there. So on the way there, I had to like expand this suitcase and the suitcase was like cram packed whereas I feel like on the way back I kind of like got it a little bit more under control I also definitely fold everything very perfectly when I travel back home, even though honestly it like all gets washed, I, I really like to make sure everything is like still nicely folded. I don't know why I'm like that, but I definitely like pack my suitcase on the way back very neatly, which Jay Waz is the complete opposite. He literally just throws it all into his suitcase and then just dumps it all into the washing machine. Whereas like sometimes I actually don't like wear everything. Like I didn't wear this stuff. So I wanted it to be like relatively neat when I got back home, but I definitely wore this net. My socks are actually all clean. These need to be washed, wash, clean, washed. my cosmetic cases, I noticed that they did a redesign on the cosmetic case. So I got this one, I think in 2020, I believe. And I noticed that this handle doesn't sit flat. And in the new design, they redesigned it to where it actually like lays flat, which I thought was really nice because I noticed that this one was all crumpled. Crumpled? Is that a word? From like being in the suitcase. 
And I also noticed that they redesigned the material that they use. This one's a little bit more durable. It's like thicker and shiny. And then this one is more like a matte and you can see where it's got some like indentions. So I thought that was really interesting. I like noticed that when I was packing them up that they had improved the design, which made me very, very excited. I like to keep most of my travel stuff in these cases though because I never, you know, use it unless I'm traveling. So I always just keep like my travel perfume, travel hair oil, dry shampoos, little like setting mist and all that stuff in these cases and I just don't remove them. And that's my tip for packing a lot quicker is like having all that stuff already in there to where I just throw in like additional stuff that I want. Not that I pack that quickly. Literally ask Jay Waz, you would say that. That is a lie. I do not pack quickly. No matter how much I set myself up for success, it is the slowest process ever. I try to do it fast, but honestly, packing is just like not easy for me because I overthink everything. And then I just end up being like, okay, I'll just bring everything. It's not great. I need to wash all of these makeup brushes. So I'm gonna take these out. And honestly, I might just I might just wash everything while we're at it. I have like makeup brushes that I packed, and then I have makeup brushes that I had sitting out on this vanity while we were gone. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna wash all of them because the ones that have been sitting out, I feel like might be a little bit dusty so i'm gonna do that later tonight i try to be good at washing my makeup brushes because i feel like sometimes it helps me from breaking out and anything we can do to prevent breakouts we do so many to wash tonight i got so much makeup from this past week just stuff that they gave me at Tarte if you guys watched my Miami trip video you know that Tarte literally hooked us up with so much good stuff one thing that I've actually been using non-stop is this set and protect this is a setting powder instead of a setting spray or it's a setting powder that has SPF and I always hesitate on reapplying sunscreen because it's, you know, it will mess up your makeup, you're like smearing on. I never reapply sunscreen, which is very bad, but this is a powder. So you're basically like resetting your face, but with SPF 30. So I have been using this nonstop at the beach and it might be one of my new favorite things. It's from Tarte, I'll link it down below. But this has been seriously a lifesaver at the beach. And I just feel like we've got so many amazing goodies. They really did like hook me up with so much good stuff. I'm pumped. I honestly probably need to go through my makeup and kind of clear out some stuff because I've got honestly, too much stuff at this point, I feel like. And it needs to be a little bit more consolidated down. There's like so much good stuff that I just I have a hard time like deciding what to me is worth keeping, what's worth getting rid of, because honestly, like it's all so good. Like if I hold on to it, I really like it. And there are just so many good products out there that I feel like it's kind of hard to decide, you know, what's worth keeping and what isn't. So that might be a task. I also need to like switch over my closet now that it's kind of almost spring. I need to switch over my closet and get that all situated. There's a lot I need to do. I feel like now that I'm back and I'm excited because I'm feeling very, very motivated to like get my life together again, which is very new at this point because I feel like we've been gone for so long that I'm just like, I don't even know what's going on anymore.
just finished dinner. I've unpacked most of it. I'm almost done. I just need to do some laundry and then I think we're good to go. I'm gonna unbox my computer with you guys because I'm really, really excited. Plus, I need to edit a video either tonight or tomorrow morning. So I need to get my new computer up and running and I thought we could unbox it together. All right, I'm assuming this is it. It says Apple on the box for this tab. She's a beaut. Oh my gosh. So excited to finally have a machine that is capable of the work that I need to do. Oh wait, there's a tab actually. Oh wait, I broke the tab. Never mind. The tab did nothing. Okay. Here she is. All right, here we go. So I was very, 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 very torn between the. I guess I haven't been in the video. Here she was. <laughs> yeah, you were with the frog. Oh yeah, with the frog. Yeah, his allergies are getting him again. Yeah, literally, the second literally we, we got, got back, back in town, I was like dying. All of a sudden, he was very like <laughs> sniffly and congested. But I was really torn between the 14 inch and the 16 inch Pro. And I've been working on a fifth, wait, it's 14 and 16 inch, right? I've been on a 15 inch and in my head, I was like, oh, I should get the 14 inch because it's so cute and small. And then I can like take it with me when I go to a coffee shop. But then Jay Waz said, and he's right, that I literally never go to a coffee shop and work. And- That's since we bought the house. I know, honestly, we, we just, we just work from here now. Yeah. We went with the bigger one because it's better for editing video because the screen's bigger. So I hope I don't regret it. A little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but it's supposed to be like super, super powerful compared to the other one that I have. This one has the M1 Max chip, right? M1 Max. Mm -hmm. I know lots about computers. Oh. Oh, Boom. That's so sweet. She's hot. And, and SD, SD card, card slot for my videos. Oh my it's God. honestly so perfect. It looks so sleek. It's a little bit chunkier. They made them a little bit thicker so that they could be more powerful. <gasps> Done. Right. Screen protector thing. Goodbye. Riley burping in the background. Ooh, so no more touch bar fingerprint reader, and the clicky keys. If you guys have one of the other MacBook Pros with the shallow keys, those are not as satisfying as the clicky keys. So these are the clicky keys. The screen looks so beautiful. I like tested it out and everything in the Apple store and it literally was like so, wow, I can't believe that I, wow. It's so nice. Okay, wait, so I should get the charger out. So we're gonna actually mirror my computer over to this one so that everything is on the new one, like passwords, Safari tabs, um, bookmarks, random thing. I don't know what else. Everything, yeah. everything will transfer. It'll be like the exact same computer. One thing I will note is that the it's a USB-C to the magnetic charger again. We went back to the magnetic charger, which I actually like. Yeah, sure. Because I feel like that one would always get pulled and my computer would fell off the table all the time. But still a USB-C and feel this cord. Oh, cool. So it's not like rubber anymore. It's like a fabric cord now. Migration assistant, baby. Here you go. All right, so we're gonna plug her in. Yeah. Even though she's fully charged. This is a her now. <laughs> I don't know why I said she. Okay, yeah, so plug that one in. Yeah. Oh, I do need to plug it in? Yeah. Okay. It well, it's fully charged. Okay. I think it can only charge on one side now, though. Boom! Magnetic. Yay! Here it is. The keys are so pleasing. We've got the same, like, sound bars on the side here. No touch bar, thank the Lord. Yes. That thing was so annoying, never worked. And we've got the sound buttons again. We've got the brightness buttons again. Oh, yes, and you can see it's like a little thicker than my old one, but it feels really like nice and substantial, which is nice. Okay, I decided to wash all of these makeup brushes while my computer transfers over. And what I typically do is grab cups and I just use 
Dawn dish soap. It's the only thing I feel like that gets them really, really clean. Pump the soap into the cups. I fill them up like to here. And then I just toss my brushes in to kind of let them soak for a bit to get all in the bristles. Jay Wells is watching me, judging. <laughs> Not judging, but laughing at me. I always have a process for everything I do and it's very <laughs> intense. them in the cup and you can see the water starting to get really really gross and I just kind of let them sit I don't let them sit for too long maybe for like a minute at max but I just want to make sure that the full brush gets soaked I'll do the same in this one and then what I'll do is I'll take each one individually and just kind of wash out whatever soap is left in my hand and I just drop them in the sink. I always like clean the sink before I do this. So I just lay them in the sink when they are clean. And some of them I'll, I'll actually wash like a couple times. But if you do that like cup method, you really get most of it in the first time. Especially if it's like an oily brush, like something that was used for like a cream product. I usually will wash those like a couple times just cause that cream product tends to stay in the bristles a lot more than like a powder product. But as you can see, they pretty much get clean from just doing the cup method. I put them on these two little baking sheets. Like I said, I have a literal method for everything. And then I try to get as much water out as I can and I lay them off the side like that so that they're pointing down a little bit. The smaller brushes will be dry by like tomorrow morning. And then these like thicker brushes, I'll flip them over in the morning, flip the other side dry, and then they should be dry by the end of the day tomorrow. But this is how I clean my makeup brushes. Okay, so I've got my computer set up and I can't even tell you guys, it is faster than I can even edit. And that is such a good thing because I feel like with my old computer, I was having to like wait for stuff to load. Like the audio I was waiting for it to load and the clips wouldn't even like show up. It was so slow and within like, honestly just turning it on and opening up Final Cut, the fans would kick on, it would get really, really hot. It was making so much noise. And I have been editing this current video. I put in all this footage from the video that you're watching and just to test it out, and I've been like working on it for the last like 20 minutes and no fan has kicked on. Like it's not even kind of struggling. It is so much faster. I can't even describe to you guys how much better it is to edit on this computer. I am so excited to like actually film videos and just do more stuff because I feel like my computer actually can handle the stuff that I want to do now, which I'm so pumped about. But I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here. As I put this footage in, it was around like 40 minutes long. And so by the time I edit it down, it's probably gonna be around 30 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed just settling back into our house with us and just getting things organized and ready for the week. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, say hey. And if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye guys. Bye.